Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a level three balance ball class. I am also using weights in this class. So I have several different weights. Um, you do not have to use weights at all. You can do this whole thing without weights. You could do it with one set of weights. If you're gonna do it with only one set of weights, I would do it with kind of like what you would consider a medium sort of set of weights. So something that you can do like reverse fly movements with, overhead movements with, and um, kind of like chest movements with. So something that you're happy doing all of those with would be good. You could also just use water bottles or soup cans, or you can do this whole thing body weight as well. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, please let us know in the comments section below. We are gonna get started today at the top of the mat with the ball in between our hands. Starting at the top of your mat, take your feet hips distance apart, take the ball in between your hands. As you inhale, you're gonna come down into a squat. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze the ball with your hands. Inhale, release, exhale to stand. Inhale, down, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release, exhale, stand. Inhale, squat, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release, exhale to stand. We're gonna take seven more of these. Last one. We're gonna come down into that squat and we're gonna hold. We're gonna exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Eight more. You're gonna hold it here. We're gonna add a heel raise. So as you squeeze that ball, you're gonna raise up onto the tippy toes. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze and raise. Inhale, release, we've got eight more. And then you're gonna release the ball down to the ground. Take your hands to the ball, step your feet back. We're coming into a high plank pose. Your hands can face whatever direction is most comfortable for your wrists. I like to turn my fingers out. Wherever you are, you're pressing the ball away from you, so don't just sink into your shoulders. If you need to bring this down to your forearms, you can do that. You can certainly stay here if this is enough for your balance, otherwise you're gonna inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna tap your right knee to your right elbow, and then inhale, take it back. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it back. We're gonna do eight more on each side, nice and slow. One more each side. Step it back to your plank, take an inhale. And then as you exhale slowly with control, you're gonna lower your knees down to the floor. You're gonna take your forearms to the ball, tuck under your toes. Take your forearms to the ball, tuck under your toes. You're gonna press your forearms into the ball like you're really angry at the ball, so don't sink into your shoulders. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're just gonna lift your knees to hover like you're coming into a bear pose, and then inhale, tap them down. Exhale, press the ball away, lift the knees. Inhale, set it down. We're gonna do eight more like this, and then we're gonna add. If 
you're going to do one more. You're going to hold it up at the top. So hold it in this little bear pose. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift your right foot off like a donkey kick. So sole of the foot comes to the sky. And then inhale, come back into this bear. Exhale, the left foot lifts. Keep the knee bent. Sole of the foot to the sky. Inhale it down. Exhale the right. Inhale it down. Exhale the left. Inhale it down. Keep pressing your forearms into the ball. Don't let yourself just sink into your shoulders. And if you need to set your knees down here, then absolutely go for it. You do five more on each side. You're going to hold in this bear pose and then you're just going to straighten your knees, straighten your arms out, send that ball in front of you. It's like a standing puppy pose. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. You're going to start to roll the ball towards you. Take a generous bend in your knees as you roll all the way up the length of your spine. And then you're going to take the ball in between your hands. Take an inhale. As you exhale, ground down into the left foot, draw the right knee into the chest. <laughs> inhale. We're coming forward into your warrior three. Reach that ball out in front of you. You're going to drop the ball to the floor and then you're going to catch it. Squeeze as you exhale. Inhale, drop. Exhale, catch and squeeze. Inhale, drop. Exhale, catch and squeeze. We're going to do seven more. Don't lose your warrior three here. last one. You're going to come all the way up to standing. Draw the right knee into the chest. You're going to set the ball down onto the floor and then you're going to put the right foot underneath the ball. Oh, sorry, on top of the ball. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to press the ball down like you're trying to stand on it and then inhale, release. Exhale, stomp it down. Inhale, release. We're just going to do three more of these because we're going to come back to them later with some weights. You're going to release that right foot. Keep the ball on the floor. You're going to bring your hands onto the ball and you're going to walk yourself forward. Make sure you've got enough room. You're going to walk yourself forward into a single leg plank. So you could stay here. This could be enough. You could set both of your feet down. Otherwise, as you inhale, you're going to take your chest down towards the ball in a push up and then exhale, press it away. Inhale, come into your push up, bend your elbows. Exhale, press it away. We've got four more here. You're going to set both feet down, come into a plank, and then start to roll the ball all the way towards you. Come all the way up to standing at the back of the mat. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest. And as you inhale, you're going to hinge forward into your warrior three. Take an exhale here. On your next inhale, you're going to drop the ball to the floor. Exhale, squeeze it as you catch it. Inhale to drop. Exhale, catch and squeeze. We've got eight more. Catch that ball. Come all the way up to standing. Draw the left knee in towards the chest. You're going to set the ball down onto the floor and take the left foot to the top of the ball. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, press the ball down like you're trying to stand on it. And then inhale, release. Exhale, press it down. Inhale, release. We're going to take three more here. Keep that left leg lifted. We're going to grab a hold of that ball again, and then start to roll it all the way to the front of the mat, coming into your single leg plank. Remember, both feet could be down here. As you inhale, you're gonna tap your chest to the ball. Exhale, press it away. Inhale, tap your chest. Exhale, press it away. So the whole body comes with you. When you press back up, don't leave your hips behind. And when you're coming down, don't just dive your chest forward. We've got two more. Set 
set the left foot down, come into your plank pose, and then roll yourself all the way towards the back of the mat. You're going to grab a set of weights. If you're using multiple ones, you're going to grab something kind of in between. You're going to straddle the ball so that the, your knees come to the outside of the ball. Your toes tuck behind you. You can stay here. Otherwise, you're going to sit back into a squat. Depending how big your ball is or how tall you are, the ball may or may not be off the floor. Your arms are going to come wide like little goal posts. You're going to take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to squeeze the ball and squeeze the forearms towards each other. Keep that elbow bend. And then inhale, come back to your cactus. Release the legs. Exhale, squeeze towards each other. Inhale, everything releases. We're going to go eight more. You're going to hold the arms wide. We're going to change it a little bit. Legs stay the same, but this time as you exhale, you're going to squeeze the knees towards each other. Press the arms up towards the sky, palms face forward. Inhale, come back to your cactus. Exhale, squeeze and press. Inhale, back to your cactus. Eight more. <sighs> last one and then you're going to release that ball from in between your legs you're going to keep a hold of one of your weights we're going to come into a modified plank here so the ball is going to add a little bit of instability if it's too much you can just come into a, a lunge position and use your arm as a support otherwise you're going to be in a stagger position your weight is in your right hand your left hand is on the ball you're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, the right arm comes off to the right, palm faces down. It's like a reverse fly. And then inhale, you'll slow control tap it to the ball. Exhale, reverse fly. Inhale, tap it to the ball. If you want to make this harder, you step yourself further back towards a plank. So both feet will be back behind you. We've got seven more here. last one and then bring it down we're going to stay on the same side easiest way to set this up is to come down onto your knees your left forearm is going to come to the ball and then you're going to step yourself back either into a kind of a lunge position or if you feel like you can you're going to step yourself back into a single arm plank this is hard you can do this from your knees as well if you need to you can also angle your forearm across the ball Feet wider will make this easier. As you exhale, draw your right hip down as you draw your right elbow to the sky in a row, and then inhale, release it. Exhale, come into your row. Inhale, release it. We've got eight more. Keep pressing that left forearm down into the ball. Two more. And then slowly release yourself down and we'll take it to the other side. So come back up into standing. You're going to either stagger your feet with your left foot forward, your right hand on the ball, weight in the left hand, or you're stepping yourself further back in towards a plank. Press that right hand down in towards the ball to make your life harder, just for fun. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we're coming into that reverse fly, left arm out to the left, palm faces down. Inhale, tap it to the ball. Exhale, reverse fly. Inhale, tap it to the ball. We've got eight more. Last two. And then you'll bring it down. 
so one side might be really different to the other. So you, if you can't do it on this side and you could on the other side, don't worry. You're going to angle that forearm in as much as you need to. Knees can stay down. Otherwise, you're going to press into that ball. See if you can take your knees up. Feet wider will make this easier. Left arm releases. As you exhale, you're going to row, inhale, release. Exhale to row, inhale, release. You've got eight more. Keep trying to draw that left hip down. Square your chest towards the ball as much as you can. And then slowly with control, bring it back down towards the floor. We're going to stay down here. You're going to bring both of your forearms to the ball. Hands are parallel. I like to face my palms towards each other, but if it's more comfortable for you to put your palms down, you can do it. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift your knees back into that bear and then step back into a plank pose. Nothing changes except for the movement in your shoulders. So as you inhale, you're going to move the ball forwards as if you're trying to poke the wall in front of you. And then exhale, draw your elbows back in towards your ribcage. Inhale, shift the ball forward. Exhale, pull it back. So what I don't want to see is when you move that ball forward is you just collapse your hips towards the ball. Keep your plank pose and only move as far as you can keep the rest of your body in a plank. So if that's not very far at all, that's fine. And you can always do this from your knees. We do six more. Last one. Slowly set those knees down. We're going to transition into a side plank. So your left forearm is going to come to the ball. Your first option would be to do this from your knees. So your right leg could go long or you could float your right leg. And then the elbow is, or the forearm is going to move away from us. And then it's going to pull back in. Move away, exhale, pull back in. Your second option would be to take your right hand to the ball, stagger your feet, right foot in front, left foot behind. You could stay here. Otherwise, right hand supports the ball. You're moving in and you're moving out. Your hardest option is obviously going to be to take that right hand away. Wherever you are, we're going to inhale. If you can, move that left forearm away. Exhale, draw it in. This is a lot of shoulder stability. Inhale, move it away. Exhale, draw it in. We're just going to do six more here. You're going to come back to that side plank. We're just going to hold. You're going to take your right arm up towards the sky. Inhale, and then as you exhale, you're going to tap the front of the ball like you're trying to reach the floor. If your arms are long, maybe you can reach the floor. Inhale, reach that arm to the sky, and then exhale, bring it in front of the ball. We're going to do six more of these. Keep pressing that left forearm into the ball, lengthen out of your shoulder. One more. Take the right hand to the ball, set the left knee down, and take it to the other side. So, right forearm will come to the ball. We'll go through all the same options on this side. Option one, right knee down, left leg long or floating. As you inhale, the right arm moves away. Exhale it in. Inhale it away. Exhale it in. Second option, left hand comes to the ball. Press into the right forearm. Right foot tags behind the left. Inhale, arms away, exhale towards, inhale away, exhale towards. Third option would be that left arm coming up to the sky, same shoulder movement. Wherever you are, we're going to go for eight. Keep up in that forearm plank. You take your left hand to the sky, inhale. As you exhale, tap it in front of the ball. Inhale it to the sky, exhale to the ball. Six more. Last one. 
and then set it down. We're gonna keep the ball behind you, but we're gonna come up to standing. You're gonna grab a set of weights. We're gonna give those arms a little bit of a break. So if you're using different sets of weights, you can grab your heavier ones. Your left foot is gonna stay on the floor. The right foot is gonna to come to the top of the ball behind you. The ball is going to move. So it will slide up your shin as you move. You're gonna take your weights in both of your hands. As you inhale, you're gonna come down into a lunge. So send that ball behind you, bring your torso forward, bend into the left knee, see if you can tap the weights to the floor. So don't just collapse in your torso. I'm still lengthening through my torso, but I'm hinging at my hips. As you exhale, press into your whole left foot, drive through the back of the leg, bring yourself to standing, that right knee draws in towards you. As you inhale, send that right leg back behind you. Send that left hip crease back as if someone is pushing it back just as much as the right. And then exhale, bring it all the way to stand. We're gonna go eight more of these. Last one. You're going to take one of those weights down to the floor and take the other one hand to hand. I call it ass to ass, but somebody called me out on that the other day, so I don't think I can say that. You're going to come back into that lunge. So your torso is going to be a little bit more upright now, but you're going to keep loading into that left leg. At the bottom, you're going to press that weight forward and then exhale, pull it to the chest as you come to stand. Inhale, you'll come down, press the weight forward. Exhale, press to stand. If pressing that weight forward is too much, you can turn this into a little bicep curl. We do six more of these. Last one. We're going to take that right foot off the ball and we're going to switch it to the other side. So, top of the left foot will come to the ball. You'll have your weights in each hand. Set yourself up. Take an inhale. You're going to bend through that right knee. Send both of your hips back equally as you tap the weights to the floor. Exhale, press through your whole right foot. Keep the big toe down. Draw the right hip forward. Squeeze your glute. Come to stand. Inhale. Hinge forward. Tap the weights. And then exhale. Drive it all the way to stand. We've got eight more. Take a peek down. Make sure that your right knee is not on a roller coaster, especially when you stand. Try not to just let that right knee swing in towards the midline. Really drive through your glute. Got six more. One more. You're going to take one of the weights down to the floor. Take the other one in both of your hands. Oh, my leg. As you inhale, you're going to come down into that lunge. Press the weight in front of you. And then exhale, draw it to the chest as you come to stand. Inhale, lunge and forward press. Exhale, drive to stand. We've got eight more.
tiếng ngon And it's no joke. We're going to pop those weights down, keep them close. We're going to use them again. But we're going to take a little plank break. So hands are going to come back to the ball. You're going to step back into your plank. Remember, you can do this from your forearms. We're going to come back. So at the start, we did knee to elbow, knee to elbow. We're going to do knee drives again. But this time, you're going to tap the knee to the ball and then send it back. Exhale, tap the knee to the ball. Inhale, send it back. So that you can keep this as a really light little tap if you want to make this harder more challenging you're going to drive that knee into the ball as if you're trying to kick it forward and then send it back exhale drive it inhale kick it set it back so obviously when you drive that knee into the ball it's going to cause the ball to move which means that you have to try and stabilize it so lots of ab work lots of arm work we do eight more each side And then you roll it all the way back. We're going to come to a single leg standing pose again. You're going to face side onto your mat. Well, you don't have to, but I'm going to. You're going to grab both of your weights again. We're going to be standing on our left foot. So your side onto the ball. Your right foot comes to the ball. I don't mind if you turn your toes up or if you have the inside edge of your foot to the ball. It's really whatever is the most comfortable for your hip. We're going to come into a side lunge. So the ball's going to move a little bit. As you inhale, it's that same hinge movement. So get your hips back, start to bend the knee, the chest comes forward. And then as you exhale, you're going to drive to stand. I just have my weights have hanging heavy on either side of my leg. Inhale, get your hips back. So I don't want to see your knee way, way forward of your ankle. I want you to load through your leg. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, bring it back. Ball will slide a little bit towards you. Exhale, come to stand. We've got seven more. One more. You're going to pop one of your weights down. Keep a weight in your right hand. We're going to do a combo move with our arms. So you're going to come down into your lunge. You can use your left arm as a bit of support. As you exhale, you're going to row. Inhale, release. Exhale, you're going to press the stand. Right arm comes up to the sky. Inhale, come down into your lunge. Exhale to row. Inhale, release. Exhale, press to stand. You can play around with the angle of your arm when you come into that press. So up above is going to be a little bit easier. The more out to the side like a star, you're going to challenge your shoulder more, only if it feels okay and supported in your shoulder. That's something that you need to play with in your own body. We're going to do five more. Inhale, down. Exhale, row. Inhale, release. Exhale to press. Last four. We've got one more. You're going to stay standing on that left leg. Bring the weight in between both of your hands. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to bend the right knee, draw the ball towards you as you twist left elbow towards right knee, and then inhale, release the leg long, come back to center. Exhale, twist left elbow, right knee, inhale to center. You can stay here, exhaling twist. Otherwise, as you inhale, you can press that weight down in front of you, and then exhale, twist. Inhale back to center, option for your press. We've got six more. Last 
శ్వాసం and then we'll release it and take it to the other side so pick up your other weight your left foot will come to the ball your right foot will stay on the ground again you choose what is the best position for that left leg for you as you inhale you're going to send the right hip back so like i'm pushing you back at your hip crease let your chest come forward bend through the knee and then exhale press through your whole right foot to come and stand inhale bring it down exhale press it up we've got eight more here We've got one more. You're going to let go of one of your weights. Keep a weight in your left hand. We've got that combo move. So you'll inhale down into your lunge. Exhale, row. Inhale, release it. Exhale, come all the way up. Press that weight overhead. Inhale, come down. Exhale to row. Inhale, release it. Exhale, press to stand. And weight presses also. <laughs> inhale come down exhale to row inhale release it exhale stand and press there we go that's a better way of saying it and again you can play with the angle of that arm when you come up and press we've got seven more including this one Last one. You're going to stay standing. Take the weight in between both of your hands. Take an inhale through center. As you exhale, draw the left knee towards you. Twist, bring the right elbow towards the left knee. And then inhale, straighten the leg. Come back to center. Exhale, bring it to your twist. Inhale it through center. Option to add that forward press as you come back through center. Exhale to twist, inhale center, option press. Exhale to twist, inhale center, option to press. We've got six more. Last one. And then release it down. We're going to come to a non-weighted plank and then we're going to add weights to our plank. So keep your weights at the top of your mat. You might want your kind of medium-sized dumbbells, not your heavier ones. We're going to come back into a side plank. So I'm going to start on my left. You start whichever side you want. Left forearm is going to drive down into the ball. Step your right leg long. So option one is you could keep your left leg bent. Place your right hand on the ball and you could work with keeping your left toes down but just kind of floating your right knee so almost like a a reverse clamshell in that bottom leg so that could be your first option your second option would be the same setup drive down into your right foot except this time as you exhale you're going to tap your left knee to your right so slightly bigger movement your third option would be to stagger your left leg in front of your right and make this a longer lever. So as you exhale, you lift it up, inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift it up, inhale, tap it down. So this is going to be a personal preference. Personally, I find the bent knee one more difficult, but you find whatever works best in your body. We're going to do eight more of them. Top arm floating is obviously going to be harder.
And then we're all going to set the left knee down. Keep that right forearm in the ball. But now it's almost as if you're rebounding away from the ball. Hips square to the top, to the long end of the mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to float your right leg up, but don't borrow from your waist. So you're not side crunching. Your hip abducting. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, float it up. Inhale, float it down. You can play around with where this ball is. So if you wanted to take a longer kind of reach on that ball, you can certainly do that. Part of that's going to depend on the size of your ball. If it's too big or if it feels like it's too tall for you, then it might feel better to take it longer. I'm going to do five more. Last one. And then you bring it back to center. We'll take it to the other side. So your right forearm will come to the ball. Your right knee, option one, once again, your right knee could stay down or your right toes could stay down rather. And you could just play with just floating the right knee. Your second option would be to lift that right leg, tap right knee to left. And then your third option would be to stagger that right leg in front. And then as you exhale, you lift, inhale it down, exhale to lift, inhale it down. Whichever option you choose, we're going to go for 10 of them in total. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. We've got eight more. One more. And then you'll set that right knee down. Once again, right forearm is light on the ball. Square your hips to the long end of the mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lift that left leg without borrowing from the waist. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap it down. You can stay right here with the arm. Otherwise, you can play around with maybe taking it longer and further away from you. I'm going to do five more here. And then slow roll it in. Okay. We're going to come to a plank with our feet on the ball. So the more of your leg is on the ball, the more supported this is going to be. So if you want more support, your shins will be on the ball. If you want to make this harder, you're going to step it back so that just your toes are on the ball. You're going to have the weights underneath your hands. Weights, as always, are completely optional here. So we're going to take a little row here. So as you exhale, you're going to press down into the right foot. See if you can row the right arm and then inhale with control, set it down. So if you're just slamming that weight down to the ground, I want you to drop your weights. As you exhale, you're going to press into the left foot. See if you can row that left elbow up. And then inhale with control, set it down. Exhale the right, inhale it down. Exhale the left, inhale it down. We take eight more each side. One more each side. And then you're going to step yourself off the ball. You're going to grab lighter weights or no weights at all. You're going to bring that ball in front of you. And it's going to be underneath your pelvis. So you've got two options here. Part of it's going to depend on the size of your ball. You could either be tucked up on your toes and kind of in this extended swanish sort of position otherwise you can bring it down so that your knees are on the floor but your belly still supported whatever is the most comfortable for you and your lower back is where i want you to be 
you're going to take an inhale. We're coming into that reverse fly again. So as you exhale, your right arm is going to come out to the side, palm faces down. Inhale, bring it back down to center. Exhale, left arm out to the side. Inhale it back down. So with your body on the ball like this, keep going. Exhale it out, inhale it in. With your body on the ball like this, it's going to give you a lot of feedback as to whether you're really twisting to get that movement. Your body's going to move a little bit. I don't need you to be a plank and a stone wall and not move at all. But if you're really dumping into one side of your body to get that movement, if you're just like twisting through your torso to yank your shoulder up there, then you either need to drop your weights completely or go to a lower weight. You're just going to end up hurting yourself and you're also, you're just not getting the work in the exercise that we're aiming for. So see if you can wait evenly through your feet, keep your rib cage relatively even on the ball and keep the ball as still as you can. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but they're just little cues that are going to give you some insight as to maybe where you're compensating in your body, maybe where you're a little bit weaker or uneven. These are things that you can work on. We do three more on each side. And then bring it down. We're going to take one weight, optional, behind your right knee. Your forearms are going to come down onto the ball. So if you've done my ball classes before, you've probably done this, but maybe not with a weight. So you're going to squeeze that weight behind your knee. You're going to feel your hamstring engage. Your forearms are going to be down on the ball. Your left knee is going to stay down. So what I want you to aim for here is keeping to the best of your ability an even weight between both of your forearms. You're going to take an inhale here. As you exhale, pull the ball towards you, press down into your left shin, and then see if you can lift the right leg, sole of the foot to the sky. Try not to turn your torso and your pelvis towards the right. Keep squaring your hips down towards the floor. Inhale, you're going to tap that knee down, and then exhale, you're going to donkey kick. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, to donkey kick. You're stabilizing a lot through your left glute as well, so try not to just let your Body weight, just dump out into your left hip. Keep drawing it over your knee. Bring your chest away from the ball. We're going to do five more here. You're going to hold it up on this last one. Keep your knee bent. As you inhale, you're just going to turn your right knee out to the right so you're sole of your left foot of your right foot will point to the left and then exhale come back into your donkey kick inhale external rotation inhale into neutral so now the ball's going to try and wobble your job is to stabilize it we've got seven more Last one. And then you'll bring it down. You can take that weight over to the other side. So the weight is not entirely necessary, but it does help to remind you to engage your hamstring here, because otherwise you can get a bit lazy. So reestablish that number 11 with your forearms, ground down through your right leg, hips square-ish towards the mat, Press your forearms down into the ball. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, kick down into your right shin to help you lift that left leg. Draw the left hip down. Draw the left rib cage down. And then inhale, tap the knee to the floor. Exhale, press it away. Keep weighting down into your left arm. Inhale to tap. Exhale to lift. We've got six more. Keep lengthening the space between your ears and your shoulders. Last one, we're going to hold it up there. 
As you inhale, you're going to rotate the left knee out to the left so the left foot comes towards the right. And then exhale, bring it back to neutral. Inhale, it's just a rotation. Exhale, come back to neutral. So the height of your leg stays the same. It's just like you're rotating your femur within your hip socket. We've got six more. One more. And then set it down. Set that weight off to the side. You're going to grab either light weight or no weights for this next one. We're going to do one more on our belly before we change it up again. So this time we're going to come back into that extended position on the ball. So your pelvis and your rib cage are supported on the ball. Toes are tucked behind you. You could do this from your knees, although it's definitely probably more comfortable doing it from this position. So we're going to start with just the legs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to float the right leg off. Pay attention to what you're doing in your body. Did you just side bend through your left waist? Did you dump all of your weight onto one side? See if you can even it out. Inhale, set it down. As you exhale, lift the left leg. Once again, pay attention to what you're doing. Do you just dump your belly into the ball and reach your chest forward? Did you side bend? See if you can make it come from your glute. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, the right leg. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, the left leg. Inhale, tap it down. You're going to keep going with the legs here. You could absolutely stay here. Otherwise, we're going to add the arms. Weights are completely optional. So the next time, as your right leg lifts, you're going to press down into your left toes. See if you can lift that left arm in front of you. And then X, inhale it down. Exhale, left leg, right arm. Inhale it down. So especially now that we're lifting the arm, See if you can keep even length between both sides of your waist. So try not to just side bend in order to get that arm up. If that means that you don't use weights or that you only do like a little lift, then that's fine. You build strength in the range of movement that you've got and then you progress. Each time you press your edge a little bit more, but there's no point in doing a bigger movement with really shitty form because then you're just going to build, you know, Dis disadvantageous, I don't know if that's a word, but not, not good movement patterns. You'll end up hurting yourself. We do four more on each side. And then you will come back up. Okay, we're going to come to kneeling on the ball. So if kneeling all the way on the ball is too much, then you're just going to bring your shins to the back of the ball and come up on your tippy toes and play here. You could also just play with a weight shift between a half kneeling and a kneeling on the ball position. But if you've done your my classes before, then you've been into this position before. Weights, once again, are completely optional. You can do this without it. So you're going to make your way towards the back of your mat. Bring your shins to the ball, hands to the ball. You're going to come forward into like a tabletop position on the ball. And then you're going to roll the ball forward, tuck it underneath you. So hips to heels, hips to heels. And then find your balancing point. Engage through your glutes, engage through quads. Use your feet. The ball is going to move. So use your feet, use your shins to help to kind of counterbalance. Move with the ball. You're going to bring those weights to your shoulders. Take an inhale. As you exhale, just the right arm presses. Face the palm forward. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, just the left arm presses. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale. Ooh, I'm going to lose it. Both arms press. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, the right. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, the left. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, both. Inhale, bring it down. We do four more rounds like this. Two. 
we've got one more round. From here, you're going to bring your torso forward just a bit. So this is going to be a balancing act. So you're only going to be able to bring it so far forward before you lose it. And you might fall and you might have to come back on and that's okay. So you're going to bring your torso a little bit forward. So it's a little bit of a hinge movement. You might just work with playing with balance here. Otherwise, you're going to draw those elbows towards the back of the room. You're trying to get your upper arms as parallel to the ground as you can. So it might not be a lot, but that's okay. As you exhale, you're going to straighten through your elbows. Your palms are facing each other. Weights come to the back of the room. Inhale, let them bend. Whew. Exhale, straighten it out. Inhale, let it bend. This is a lot of balance work. We're going to try for eight more. You can do this whole thing without the weights. We're going to try for two more. And then bring it down. Roll yourself off that ball. We're going to come into one more plank with our feet on the ball. And then we're going to bring it down to the floor. So weights, as always, are completely optional. Shins on the ball or feet on the ball, whatever is your preference. We're going to combo this. So you're going to inhale, tap the right toes to the floor. Exhale, bring them up. Inhale, left toes to the floor. Exhale, bring them up. You're going to tap right hand to right shoulder. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left hand to right shoulder. Inhale, set it down. Right toes, back to center. Left toes, back to center. Right hand, center. Left hand, center. So your breathing pattern is really going to depend on what makes the most sense for you and it might change a little bit throughout but i just want you to keep breathing you might have to take extra breaths somewhere but as a general rule you want to exhale on the effort let's see we do four more of these Last ones. Beautiful. And then gently with control, whew, you're going to step it off the ball. Okay, doke. We're going to come down all the way onto our backs. We're going to start with a little bit of bridge work and we'll finish with some ab work. So I'm going to grab my heavier weights. Come lie all the way down onto your back. The ball is going to go underneath your feet. We're going to set ourselves up for bridge. So the whole of your foot is going to come to the ball for this first move. I have too many clips in my hair. Okay, weights in the hands. Elbows are going to come wide. You could play around with this though. Wider is going to be more chest. Narrower is going to be more triceps. Find what feels good in your shoulders. Whole foot presses into the ball. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift the hips. Inhale here. Exhale, press the arms. We're going to keep the arms up. Inhale, dip the hips. Exhale to lift. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, hips tap. Exhale, they lift. Inhale, elbows bend. Exhale, they straighten. Inhale, hips tap. Exhale, they lift. Inhale, elbows bend. Exhale, they straighten. Inhale, hips. Exhale, lift. Inhale, elbows bend. Exhale, they straighten. We've got six more.
one more. Bring it down, straighten out your legs, give them a little break. You're gonna take one weight in between both hands. If you're really strong through your triceps, you could also just take one weight into um, each hand and do the same movement. This time, your heels are gonna be on the ball because we're gonna straighten and bend the, the legs. Bring that weight up towards the sky and you're going to lift your hips up into your bridge. So, as you straighten your legs away from you, you're gonna bend your elbows. So just your elbows, your shoulders don't move. It's like you're gonna tap your weight to your forehead. And then as you exhale, you're gonna curl your heels towards you, straighten out your arms. Shoulders aren't moving. It's like you've got a bar under your elbows that you're curling over. Inhale, straighten the legs, bend the elbows. Exhale, bend the knees, straighten the elbows. Inhale, lengthen the legs, bend the elbows. Exhale, bend the legs, straighten the elbows. So everything goes away from each other as you inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, everything comes back towards each other. Hips stay high the whole time. We've got seven more of these. Moving slow. We've got two more. Ooh, shaking. Last one. And then set it down. You're going to bring your legs over the ball. Weight is completely optional. Weight is just gonna act as an extra, extra weight to your abs. So you're gonna hold that weight over your head. The further towards the top of your mat it is, the harder this will be. So if you hold it right above your face, it's gonna be easier, and then the further away from your legs you take it, the harder it will be. Your head can be up or down. I'm gonna keep mine down because it's better for my neck. You're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale, keep the weight as it is. You're gonna see if you can lift your lower back away from the floor, like your knees are coming to your elbows. And then inhale, take your whole inhale, slowly roll it down. Tap the ball to the floor. As you exhale, it's like you're rolling, peeling your spine off the mat. It's slow. And then inhale, you're going to bring it down. So what I don't want you to see is you're just yanking your knees up towards your elbows. So this is a slow and controlled lift. Inhale, tap it down. You got a gentle squeeze of those heels into the ball, a little bit of hamstring action. I'm gonna take eight more of these. last one and then bring it down last little move here we're going to finish with some inner thigh work you're going to grab one weight in each hand you're going to take the ball in between your ankles take it up towards the sky ball straight up to the sky is going to be easier the more down on a diagonal you bring it the harder it will be but make sure that your lower ribs stay on the mat Hands come up towards the sky, palms face each other. You're gonna inhale, those arms are gonna come wide like you're gonna give someone a hug, so we're doing a chest fly. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze your ankles into the ball as you bring the weights towards each other. Inhale, release the tension on the ball, arms come wide. Exhale, squeeze the ball, weights come towards each other. We've just got eight more.
last two. And bring the ball down, bring the weights down, set them off to the side, you don't need them anymore. You're going to draw that ball in towards you, you're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. And just come into a figure four. You can ditch the ball if you would prefer to for this. You switch it out, you take the right leg to the ball, cross the left ankle over the right knee, and then just draw it in towards you. You can use your left elbow on that left knee to add a little bit to the hip opener. And then you'll send the left leg along on the ball, straighten the right leg up towards the sky, grab somewhere behind the leg, and point and flex through the ankle, maybe take some circles, gentle little hamstring stretch. And then you'll switch it out. Right leg goes long on the ball, left leg up to the sky. Take your hands somewhere behind your left leg. Hey, puppy. And then you'll bring that ball in towards you. You're going to rock and roll yourself up to a seat. You're going to take that ball out in front of you. So this is going to be like a puppy's pose. You're going to stay on your knees. Hands come on the ball. Ooh, head spin. You're going to let that ball roll out in front of you. You're just coming down as low as what is comfortable for you. So your hips stay above your knees. And then we're going to take a little bit of a cat cow if it feels good in your shoulders. So as you inhale, you'll let your belly drop. Sternum comes towards the ball. And then as you exhale, press your hands into the ball. You're not coming all the way up. You're just coming into a little bit of a round in your spine. Inhale, release it down into that cow belly breath. And then as you exhale, press into the ball, round it out. And take two more here. And then you're going to roll that ball all the way in towards you. This is just a feel good dog is destroying my garden again so <laughs> you're just gonna let your butt your belly flop over the ball and then you're just gonna roll with the ball so you can just be really floppy here and just roll backwards and forwards it should feel like a really nice release through your lower back if this doesn't feel good then absolutely you do not have to do it And then we're going to switch it out. We're going to take it to the other direction. So you're going to sit on the ball, get your dog out of the way. You're going to roll yourself all the way down. Take your hands behind your head and then just let yourself back bend over the ball. So only as much as this feels good for you. And then once again, you can bend and straighten into your knees. You can make this as big or as small of a movement as you want to. <laughs> and then you're going to come back to center so you can finish up here you can make your way down to the ground or you can come up to seated this is where i'm going to leave you please find any other movements that feel good in your body as always thank you so much for moving and practicing with me today i hope you have an amazing day going forward and until next time namaste